Hi everyone, today I'm going to share how to use the, the new stencil from Joann's, the polka dot stencil, some texture paste and some colour shine and a transparency, it's a bit, hopefully you can see it, to create a fun background. To save time, what I did was I added some texture paste and some colour shine and then I've just mixed it with my palette knife until I got the right colour. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lay our stencil down over the um, transparency and I'm just going to tape it at one end just with some washi tape so it doesn't move around. Then all we need to do is to grab some of the mixture, the texture paste and the colour shine and just wipe it over. You can leave it as thick or as thin as you like. I quite, I don't like it too thick. So as I'm adding the texture paste and the colour shine, I'm just wiping it off so there is no um, overhang over the dots. You could create, even if you wanted to, a bit of an ombre effect by starting off with one colour and then adding another colour as you went down the stencil. So all you need to do is keep adding the texture paste, dragging it over. I mightn't have enough to finish but you get the idea. Until you've filled up all of the stencil. You could just do parts of the stencil if you want. You could do some in the corner. You could just do half of it. You could do a random pattern. It's up to you. And once it's all filled in, you just carefully take off the stencil. And then You've got a super cute background that you can use on a layout or a card or in a memory file. So once again I use some texture paste and some colour shine. Of course I use the mustard, yellow is my favourite. Mix them together, laid my stencil down, smoothed it over with my palette knife and now I just need to leave that to dry and I can go ahead and use it on a project. Thanks for watching.